Welcome to Community Taking Action, ABCD's program highlighting people and organizations doing great things in and around the Boston community. Today we are joined by two individuals from the Greater Eggleston Community High School. We have Mr. Hugh Coleman and Ms. Andrea Diaz. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having us. So we want to really jump right into it. We are, our studio, you know, we sit here, we come into Eggleston all the time, and then we learn or we, we're reminded that there's a great high school right, you know, not too far from us, the Greater Eggleston Community High School. What is the mission, the purpose, uh, the, the practice of Greater Eggleston Community High School? What's it for? Who's it for? Greater Eggleston is a, you know, alternative pilot high school um, that's geared towards really giving students um, from other schools who didn't have, you know, much success in their first or second go around, giving them the opportunity to really come in and specifically focus on the things that they need to in order to not only get their high school diploma, but really focus on that next level of higher education and career opportunities. And how does a student find the Greater Eggleston um, program? How do you come about it? You say it may be their first, not their first, generally their second or third go around. So I imagine that they've tried and had uh, limited success elsewhere and then they come to you guys and say help. Yeah. How do they find you? So most of our students, they find us by rec recommendations, by their guidance counselor or either by students that are currently enrolled at Greater Eggleston. A lot of our students, um, they'll say, hey, I have my cousin or my friend who went to my old high school and is interested for a second opportunity. But, so it's mostly by recommendations. And so let's talk about each of you, our respective roles. You are Dean of College and Careers yes. and Dean of Students. Yes. So in your respective roles, what do you do to help students at Greater Eggleston? Uh, so my role uh, primarily is to deal with student concerns and issues the vast, you know, majority of what may go on in the student's life. So mm -hmm. any interactions that may happen between students where there's conflict resolution that mm -hmm. need to be resolved or issues with teachers. Nice. And Andrea? So my role as Dean of College and Careers, um, I try to get students prepared for college and also career readiness. Um, I help all seniors with internships, as well as other students who need my extra help. And also, I help students register for the SATs. I try them to get them enrolled in college courses. So you are prepping students to go off to college. Is that something that's um, integral to all of the students go off to college? Is that a, a major part of the message at Greater Eggleston? Yeah, some of our students, you know, they want to go to college. Some of our students don't. So we try to find other alternatives to career paths. To go somewhere Yeah. after, after their four years. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's uh, very much uh, geared towards the next level. Um, in, in the real world, especially for many students, they might not feel like the college path is, is their path. So we're definitely looking at alternative uh, means of education in terms of like trade school. What other things are unique, do you think, to Greater Eggleston? You know, the college path, uh, internships, those things certainly set you apart. What else? I think one that really stands out is our summer program, mm -hmm. SEEP, where students earn academic credits. So I think that's one of the biggest things that stands out about Greater Eggleston. What I think is absolutely unique is the difference in tracks that you can take. Mm -hmm. So depending on where your credits fall, where you come from a previous high school, mm -hmm. you could be a senior in which you'll be in a college prep academy, or you can be in the online learners academy where you're taking classes online. To have the variety and have that uh, flexibility for students to sort of figure out what the best path for them is, mm -hmm. I think that's extremely unique it is. to add on internship. So every Friday, students don't take classes at our school in a traditional sense. Every student is required, whether you're online or if you're in one of the other academies, to have an internship. You guys probably have lots of partners that you work with to kind of ease the mm -hmm. path for your students when they, when they want to do an internship or, yeah. or spend some time there. Um, we are partnered with ABCD mm -hmm. um, with their um, program Work Smart which is new um, this year. What they do there is that they train our students for two weeks 
to get them ready for their internship. They help their, our students find an internship and they also get paid for it. So, which is great because some of our students, they, you know, they're in high school, they're older, they need a job, but they also need to um, fill out the requirements of Greater Eggleston. So, um, Sounds like a very good fit. It's a very great fit because they also have the same mission as Greater Eggleston, which is getting our students college and career ready. Excellent. That's a great point for us to actually take a break. And when we come after the break, we'll really jump into the WorkSmart program a little bit more. How's that sound? Great. Excellent. We have with us Andrea Diaz and Nadej Hendricks. Welcome to the program, guys. Thank you. So your students either have a Friday internship, mm -hmm. a, a job, job. Mm -hmm. or they take a college class. Yes. And you have college partners that allow you to do that? Yep. We have Simmons College, Northeastern University, and UMass Boston. Yeah. And you also have other partners, you know, your internship partners, of which ABCD is one with the mm -hmm. ABCD WorkSmart program. Talk a little bit about how that partnership is going, because I understand it's relatively new. That partnership is actually going very well. Um, I communicate with Laura <laughs> Janvrin. She's the ABCD coordinator. Their mission matched our mission, so I spoke to um, Ms. Coles, which is our headmaster, and I told her about ABCD, um, and Laura came to visit the school. I said, it's a great fit, let's do it. Yes, of course, and um, then we became partners. Talk a little bit about your experience, what you do as a part of the ABCD WorkSmart program. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm an intern at a local TV radio station. Mm -hmm. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I take a class at um, Urban College. So you must be a senior. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you balance that workload and what are you learning from having that type of schedule? Definitely time management. That's like the most thing. So usually, at night, I usually get what I have to do the, for the next day out and ready. It's like homework for the college class, so I get that done. And how is the Work Smart program and your internship helping to support what Greater Eggleston has started? Definitely, I think they both prepared me. But like, I take a, cl a class at um, in the College Prep Academy. It's called financial literacy. Nice. So definitely, I know how to manage my money and what kind of house I want in the future, how much it's going to cost me wow. out of pocket and how I need to save up for that. Wow. And the school has definitely prepared me for college and what I want to know, what I need to get prepared for over the summer. I want to ask when students are applying for, uh, to apply to Greater Eggleston, mm -hmm. and as you may remember this, how does someone find out once they hear about it, how do mm -hmm. they fill out the application? So. Um, new students usually find out from current students mm -hmm. or their guidance counselors, mm -hmm. um, and we have an interview process. Mm -hmm. And if we need like a second interview process, we involve our current students to interview them because sometimes they feel more comfortable talking to someone their age. And so, having said that, you know our time is winding down, and so Nadej, I want to give you the final word, if you will. What would you say captures your experience at Greater Eggleston? Like if you had to tell someone, you know, this has been what Greater Eggleston has meant to me in, along my journey, what would you say to them? I would say a lot of growth and personal reflection. And that's yes. a huge part of my experience right. at Greater Eggleston. I've learned a lot of values and a lot of different things that I can use in my personal life. Wonderful. Where are you going next? Hopefully Bryn Mawr College. Really? Yeah. So you have some college applications out there? Mm -hmm. Yes. So far so good? Yes. Excellent. So I really want to thank you guys for being on the program. If I haven't asked, is there a phone number or a website where someone can get in touch with uh, folks at Greater Eggleston? Is it the BPS website? Um, the BPS website and also our phone number is 617-635-6429. Mm -hmm. No, again, it has been a pleasure to have you on the program, and thank I'm you. so excited for you. Thank and so you. I really thank you guys really both for being on the program. I look forward to hearing about your continued success in Greater Eggleston and your continued success, and we won't say the school, but we won't jinx it, but, you know, when you get off to school, come back and see us. Okay. Excellent, you. excellent. That concludes our program for today. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and if you've missed any segments, you can catch them on YouTube. Thank you for joining Community Taking Action. I'm your host, Eric Mitchell. Until next time.